Hello everyone and welcome to my happy space. Today we are going to make this beautiful card featuring this lovely unicorn and the awesome pigment sprinkles to make this background piece. Um, so let's get to it. The first thing we're going to do is make the big pigment um, sprinkles background. So to do that I've got a piece of watercolor paper here. Um, it's cut just a piece of scrap here. We're going to use Melon Mambo and Gorgeous Grape pigment sprinkles. And a little of this goes a long ways. So when you're using it, you just want to put a very little bit on your paper. Okay, so we've got some pink. And we've got some purple. Now this stuff can be quite messy, so I'm going to move everything out of the way. And um, we're going to use water to activate it. So I've got a spray bottle here. Stampin' Up! also sells the spritzers, which will work as well. So you're just going to add some water to this, and as you can see, it just kind of goes crazy. I love it. It's so exciting to see all the different patterns that it comes up with. So because I've used watercolor paper, it is going to absorb quicker. It's going to dry faster, which is why I like to use it. But you can use any kind of paper that you want. Okay. So now you're just basically going to let that dry. If you want, you can add more of the water. The more water, the more color you get. Okay. Now I've gone ahead and done this up already ahead of time so we don't have to wait for it to dry. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to bring in the piece that I've already done. As you can see, I've cut it out using the stitched nested labels dies here. Um, I've used the biggest one right there. Okay, so I've just run it through the big shot to get that all done. Um, the next piece we're going to do is the unicorn. So I've just got a scrap piece of Whisper White paper here. I'm going to take the unicorn stamp off of the Leave a Little Sparkle stamp set. And because it's a bigger stamp, I'm going to use it the reverse. I'm going to take the ink pad and I'm going to dab the ink this way to ensure that the whole image gets covered. Okay, so we got that nice and inked up. I'm going to step on here. Okay, just like that. So now we are going to fussy cut the unicorn out. I um, just want to show you a quick trick that I learned a while ago is when you're cutting these images out. The easiest way to do it is to cut and move the paper. Don't be moving your scissors around all the images. Just be turning your paper. Okay, and you can get as close to the lines as you want. You don't have to be super fussy about it. Just turn your paper when you want it to go around the corners. Okay, so now I've shown you that. I do have one already pre-cut, so we're not going to sit here and watch me cut the whole thing out. So here's our unicorn. We've got our color base. Next thing I want to do is the salutation. So here I've got Believe, which is also from the Leave a Little Sparkle stamp set. And I've just embossed it on a white, embossed it in white on a black piece of cardstock. So I've got that here for us. The piece of cardstock is just half inch by three. I'm going to take our embossing buddy. And I'm just going to give it a quick rub across there so that I get all the static off of it. Versa Mark ink pad. Here. Stamp that on there. And then I'm going to bring in my embossing tray here with some white embossing powder. And then I'm going to use my embossing gun to heat it, get it all nicely melted, ready to go. Okay, so again, I have that done ahead of time here. <clears throat> I'm going to add that over here. I've got another layer of Whisper White cardstock that's cut five by three and three quarters that I've run through the Big Shot using the Subtles embossing folder. So if you can see that, it's got a little bit of a texture to it. It's very, very subtle, but I like to use that a lot to give it some extra dimension. 
Now we're going to use gorgeous grape ink pad with the little stars and we're just going to stamp along the outside edge of the card. There's no sense stamping in the middle because we're not going to see it anyway. Thanks. So just like that, get that out of the way. We're going to take our pigment sprinkles piece and we're going to adhere it right down the middle with our snail adhesive here. Next, we're going to put it onto our gorgeous grape next layer, which is four by five and a quarter. And that's just going to situate right on top there. Okay, so there we've got the card base itself done. Next thing I want to do before we start adding the unicorn is taking some polka dot tool ribbon and we're just going to wrap that around. I love this ribbon. It's so subtle but it gives us a little bit of pop and that extra dimension. I'm just going to tie a ribbon in the corner here. Like so. Take our scissors again and just cut these little tails. Okay, so we've got that. Now we're going to take the unicorn and some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of it. Peel those off. Put this guy over here. Okay, such a, however you want. We're going to take the Believe sentiment and we're going to put a dimensional on either end. So we've got one here and another one there. And we're just going to put it in through here, line it up with the edge of the white paper on this end, and then just sort of tuck it in underneath here, like so. Okay, so we've got that part done. We're gonna take our Melon Mambo card base, which I've already pre-scored here. I'm just gonna run my bone folder along it to make sure it's a nice crisp fold. Oops. This way, perfect. And then we're gonna just tear that to the front of the card. Just like that. Okay, so the last thing that we need to do is add the bling, of course. And anybody who's been to any of my classes in the past knows that I love bling. So we're going to use rhinestones. I've got my lovely lipstick um, Stampin' Blends, and I'm going to color three of the rhinestones. Okay. And then I'm just going to use my tool here. Put one here, put another one up here, and one more down there. Okay, card's done. All that we have left to do is add the insert. And there we go, our card is all complete. I do wanna show you the piece that we sprayed first. This thing is now drying. The edges have got a bit um, of excess on them, but see how cool that looks? All right, so there we are. Thank you again for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.